what <clears throat> does a narcissist do? How do they act when they have a new victim? This is very easy to answer. They obviously will put on a show for the new victim and they will start by playing a character that lures them into the narcissist's web. The character for them is like a custom, uh, custom fit right with the personality of the victim because of the uh, level of mirroring that's going on. So if the victim has, say, an absent father or mother or any family members or friend or is desperate for love, they will play on the wedges by becoming what the victim really misses and wants, um, or like wanted in say a devoted father figure or mother figure or a devoted best friend or a lover that, that they never thought would ever um, be real. And furthermore, all that they will give the new victim after studying them, of course, and what is what they are craving the most, whether it is attention, love, security, money, position, companionship. It could be literally anything. This stage is known as the love bombing stage. So now, of course, the narcissist has the victim stuck right where they want them, right where they're supposed to be, right in the center of the web. Like a spider's web, it could look um, delicate, maybe somehow relaxing. And even when you think um, you are the silk, they are waving or weaving around the victim, harmless and delicate, and maybe somehow not threatening at all. Um, it, it, but the more that is being weaved around the victim, the harder it is for the victim to move, the harder it is for the victim to get out and leave. And the silk that the narcissist is weaving will consist of gaslighting, just small um, gestures to drive the supply insane, get this victim doubting him or herself, and um, they will have that gut feeling signaling them that they are in danger, but the victim ignores it due to the trauma bond. Because the victim is hooked, like an addict, they, um, and, and everyone knows that drugs uh, are harmful and dangerous, but people who use them just want to feel and get high. And also this web can be so isolating that the victim is totally cut off from any person, any friend, any family member, um, from money, from a, a job, um, and they suspect, or, or anybody that the narcissist suspects could be helpful to the victim in the future even, they will start getting mad. The narcissist will start getting mad whenever the victim takes up a hobby or anything that can take the attention away from the narcissist. And when it comes to people in the victim's life, the narcissist will get very angry um, when the victim, or passive aggressive even, when the, uh, the victim hangs out with family or friends, um, oftentimes insulting them, making lies up about them, smearing them behind their back, uh, and getting the victim to doubt the true intentions of these vital friends and uh, family. So now our victim is left alone without any support or security, without any job, no money, no hobbies, or anything or anybody that can bring satisfaction or any semblance of peace into the victim's life. And the narcissist will begin insulting and shaming the victim about how nobody wants to be around them and how they don't have any ambition, how they have no hobbies or in, and they have no talents. And the narcissist starts telling everyone around them how 
the victim is needy and doesn't do anything with their life and is lazy and is mooching off of them. And um, after they are programmed by the narcissist to obey them in every aspect of their life, even if the victim tries to rebel uh, and, to, and uh, does something with their life, the effort will more than likely end up in failure because of the smear campaigns that have long since been plotted and put in place by the narcissist. So now our victim has absolutely nothing and we have all been there. They will start, the narcissist will start making fun of the victim physically, emotionally, mentally, making up stories and lies and um, telling people that the victim is mentally ill. And that is slowly, it would drive any sane person uh, to insanity. And now this silk has covered every inch of the victim's body and mind. This stage is known as the devalue stage. And now the end of the show, the grand finale for now. The victim is left emptied from everything after fulfilling all of the needs of the narcissist and just like the insect who is waiting to be eaten by the spider. So when they are very sure about a new victim, a new source of supply that the narcissist has found behind the, um, the old supplies back, they will turn their back on this victim. They will ignore them as if the victim is invisible. They suddenly don't know who the victim is and they are a crazy, jealous stalker who is coming after them to destroy them and ruin their life. And then behind closed doors, there are the promises and the future faking and they were that they were telling um, the the victim during the love bombing stage it comes back sometimes but then it all goes it's all gone and the victim um, is starting to collapse going into a withdrawal just like an addict who only needs a tiny little fix to bring them some semblance of sanity and during that withdrawal of um, from the narcissist the it's the narcissist is sky high in happiness and they are feeling it high as a kite after achieving all of their goals the damage the trauma the anxiety the physical and mental illness in the victim the smear the successful smear campaign and the uh, narcissist withholding everything from the victim um the things that the narcissists were that they give that they gave the victim willingly during the love bombing stage, the love and the affection and the intimacy, all of the things that um, they they made themselves out to be, um, it, they withhold those things and very sadistically, and maliciously, and no matter how long the victim begs, no matter how long the victim cries or pleads. The narcissist will show absolutely no mercy. And this is the discard. The narcissist will leave the victim emptied from life, just like a spider eats its insect from the center of the web and off to the next victim, weaving their silk. Hey guys, if you would like to donate to the cause Narcissistic Abuse 101, Click on the PayPal link in my bio and your contributions will go towards getting people in need free coaching, my new book, and a lot of really cool things that I have coming up, including live speaking events.